All right, hello and welcome. We're gonna get right into action. We timed it literally perfectly, as you can see here. Uh, we are heading into the first round of our best of three with Hutchinson Community College. This is our juggernaut match here for the season so far as both teams are heading into this game four and oh. Uh, so it's gonna be a really great thing to be able to see competition, all that good stuff. But uh, Chokers have got a tough match in front of them here. Down. Cutting their vision. <sighs> One enemy remaining. Spike down A. Wow, and a great start to the round. I think LHC had a two, possibly three right there. Good start for the chokers to be able to get a quick elimination. Squad wipe basically right there and be able to go up 1-0. Spike down A. In sight. 30 seconds left. <laughs> One enemy remaining. That's three. So blue dragons are down to just <laughs> left. It looks like it's gonna be jet. So they're gonna look to see if they can maybe get this left. final elimination right here. LHG Somebody is able died. to do so. So good two rounds here already to start for not only the Chokers, but LHC. They get up 2-0. And once again, you're just kind of in that spot where uh, no matter what, you want to make sure that you are continuing to uh, work hard here, continue to extend leads, all sorts of stuff. Smoke.
couple of quick blinds right there are able to get Odette just off her game enough to be able to... Oh, I believe we got a trade. I didn't see that first one, so... Just a trade happens there for the chokers. You're gonna get a heal on Jet, so all four are basically back to full health. Spike planted. And the spike has been planted, but chokers should know what site they are on. <laughs> You're gonna get one from Tobias. Gun here. One from LHC. Now they've kind of. Standing. Oh man, and a great play right there. So the blue dragons are able to grab an advantage right there. You're gonna get one pick from LHC, but he's got a plethora of them right there, but he's at least able to get two. Windows. Oh, it would have been nice to be able to grab that elimination right there. So dragons have two left here. They're gonna get a recon dart out by their Sova, so they should know about where Odette is right here. So just kind of trying to hold off. It's gonna be a tough push for Odette, but it is very doable still here if she's able to pick off one of them and then get to a one and one one enemy remains she is able to get the sova i don't think there's going to be enough time but she's able to get this guy at least so we're going to even up at two rounds each, but everybody's going to go into this next round, even though the Blue Dragons were able to win that round. Everybody's going to go in with with just pistols and and uh, knives in their hands, so everybody's going to have to buy or at least just don't get to carry over their guns into this next round. Right here. Launching smoke! Get out of my way! Uh, blocking sight! Planted. So Hutchinson gets a good push, are able to pick off two of the chokers and get the spike planted. So puts a lot of pressure here on the chokers in this kind of tiebreaker round early in the match. Not not a tiebreaker as in to figure out the match. Uh, it's just, just that they're 2-2 two -two right now. Tobias so is going to try and see if he can push and get through. Not able to do so. Last player standing. Flawless. That's going to be a flawless victory there for the Blue Dragons. So not only are they able to capture their first lead here early in round or in uh, map one, but they do it with a flawless victory. So a good little momentum going their way. Chokers have got to figure out how to get 
back onto the right path here. going to be important for the chokers to not let the dragons push and get a quick plant as it puts them kind of flips everything around and puts them into the attack mode rather than playing defense and so being able to keep them from doing that will be important here for those of you watching at home it's Kind of cool, we're experimenting with the uh, different look that you can get as being a, a coach or, or your your streamer. You're able to go into the spectator mode here rather Weapon than just here. being on the coach's side for our team where we can only see our team. You can see all the health for everybody. You can see who's left on each team. You can see all the alts like you normally do, but you can also see the location of every player uh, while you're going. So it makes it more interesting and, and kind of knowing possibly what could ha come and what could happen all while, uh, luckily for us One here at Grace Harbor, remaining. we're you fortunate to enough to be able to have a, a good enough and, and great facility that we have, being able to have a completely separate room for our, our spectating so we don't even have to worry about uh, our players. They're, they're viewed in a different room and then we're off to a different part of campus so it works great for us to be able to eliminate any of that uh, desire or, or chance to be able to cheat and there's a big kill right there, big elimination by Nice Aim is going to get that final elimination and is going to be able to defuse right here so we're tied right back up to 3-3. Three, three. I like that animation, it's, it's pretty cool. I, um, environmentally friendly, so not only do we get the elimination and, and get the win right there, but you know what, for, for the environment we're nice to it and we plant another tree for you. So your carbon, carbon monoxide, right? I think that's what we breathe out and the trees absorb, so. Dioxide, carbon dioxide. I think monoxide would kill us if we had it in our system. Yeah, so. Either way, it's a good thing we're getting you it want out to play? of the tree. Let's play. Oh, impressive flick there from LHC as he was focused on the didn't even see who was up high, but the jet jumped down on him and was able to get that elimination. So chokers go up advantage early. And so this will be a, a crucial round here for the chokers as Chamber has popped his ult. And so if you can be able to win this round, um, it's a quote-unquote kind of waste of that ult, and if they can withstand it, then they'll get evened up with them with two apiece. So, as you know, the abilities, the ults, all that kind of stuff come into a huge play here in Valorant. The smoke planted right there at the entrance, and they try to get a blind on him too, so just a little bit of blind firing coming through the smoke. We'll see 30 if seconds left. Nice aim is trying to see if he can flank around and possibly catch Chamber and Sky. Pushing a little hard. Is going to rethink his strategy and go ahead and move back around to give support here. One enemy remaining. Tobias is able to get one, so just Chamber. No, sorry, just Sky left, and you're able to get the last one picked off, so Chokers will get back into the lead. And we talked about it before the game with the team and, and knowing going into it. Hinted a little bit at the beginning, you've got two 4-0 and oh undefeated teams going into this matchup, so uh, it was it was nothing but expected to see back and forth battle punches thrown back and forth. Uh, there's most likely not going to be any team or either team is going to be able to run away with a victory today, so I fully expect to see matches and, and maps stay within one, two, three rounds the whole time and just see basically at the end who can who can win those crucial rounds. So Gab tries to get an early pick right there. Just about is able to Lucky pull it off with the op. Wisely gets out of harm's way. It's going to get hit by a stun, but survives through that, so that's important for the chokers. As 
Hutch is looking to go back to the strategy of pushing hard and see if they can get an early plant. And just the op shots flying out of that snow. I mean, if they can catch one sleeping. Rotating to the Spike middle. Down, mid. Oh, and Gab is able to grab a two feet right there. He gets the collateral damage. Must have gone straight through somebody. Impressive shot there with the off. And so Hutch is down two. Oh, just an unfortunate time reload right there. Or, or I guess you can really say on the other side, a, a well timed by Jet. Reyna's gonna get one picked off, and she's got one left, and Tobias is able to pull off the 2k right there at the end to extend the Choker's lead back up to 2, which I think has been the max for them. I think they went up 3-1 before it got all tied up again at 4, or at 3. And so we'll see if they're able to get a little bit more space between them. You can... If you can get up by three or four rounds and then you can start to play the game of that's okay we can we can swap rounds with multiple times. If we win one and then they win one and then we win one uh, you give yourself really good space and, and comfortability in that being up two or three so it's always important to see if they can respond well as they did when when not only did hutch come out and tie but they went up a lead and a good Spike down, kick mid. right there here i think it might be a little bit of the difference for this Grace Harbor team, we talked about the difference between this season and last season uh, so far. As at this point in the season, they were where they were not undefeated last season, uh, and they were not looking at going. Oh man, we're we're a good powerhouse right here, the division. And I think the change that we've seen mainly come from it is typically we saw LHC in more of the duelist uh, role. He was maining Jet a whole lot, and now we've moved. Gab into that role, uh, having him work on that and, and being more of a duelist and letting Ellie play more of a little bit of a support role. And Spike Gab down, has really mid. stepped up to the table, able to get the eliminations, able to get uh, the encounters and all sorts of stuff. So we'll see if that continues to play well. For the oh, and Tobias just gets. I think they. So they must be. Oh, I bet you they picked up the op that was dropped because I was going to say I thought we got the op down. 30 seconds left. They picked up and, and a good pick right there. Especially on, on Tobias, who's who's top three for the team. And you're going to hear it, but I don't think... Spike planted. The Chokers are going to rotate a little bit. Now they're in a little bit better of a position to be able to try and make a push on it. But Spike has been planted. I heard the blind. And then you're going to get charges. a... Alt pop by Odette as Killjoy. So... We'll see if she's able to detain any of the blue dragons in this. Last player standing. Oh! Just ran out of bullets. I thought for sure he had that elimination right there. Unfortunate for him, but like we talked about, they were able to at least give themselves a little bit of room. So you want to come back and see if you can exchange blows here with uh, Hutch. Oh, you know what? I didn't even realize i'm gonna get that switched over for you I, I put him on the wrong side so we'll get that scoreboard fixed for you up there for you hermanita all right there we go now we're all outdated perfect i'm glad that i i caught that i was starting to look at it too and was confusing myself so you've got grace harbor on the left side there they're Represented by that blue scoreboard and kind of that, uh, I don't know, we're going to go with kind of aqua color, the, the the blue green up there on their team. And then Hutchinson is represented by that right side, the orange scoreboard and the, the red background, so to say. The, the team color for him, the red. Both teams kind of playing the long game here in this round. Watching angles, slowly moving, seeing if maybe who can get the first pick because it is always important. If you can get that advantage, you get the first elimination. Um, it, it goes into a there. 
really long play here in the round. It goes a long ways for him. So then you're able to hopefully start to get a couple of engagements where you where you get a two on one or three on one, or whatever it is. Oh, and Odette, I think she was able to hit a couple. It doesn't look like Chamber was very hurt, but she was definitely they're able to grab them first. And as we saw, but uh, for Dizzle wasn't able to see. Just barely missed that off shot. He has no clue that Chamber is behind him. Oh, Chamber is down though, so that's a good shot right there. I think LHC was able to get him. And so it's down to LHC. A nice aim here. Spike has been commanded. You're gonna get one. LHC's got to see if he can get the next two right here. Enemy he gets Sova, he gets Jet. And there is going to be enough time there to defuse. What a play. Clutch. What a clutch play right Who's there just the on Q now? from LHG. And he's going to be able to go over and get the op. Most likely is going to drop it off for Gab. Yep, saw that coming. So he's going to drop it off for Gab, get his Vandal back, I think, is that what he's using. Saves the team in general, even though uh, he drops it and has to buy a gun himself. It saves the team in general some cash. And just sets them up for the long run. So once again, they, they hop up to that two-round lead. I would love to see it right here, be able to kind of start to pull way. away, hopefully. And work on seeing if they can get above the two rounds for the first time here. But Hutchinson Boy, is able to pull off the first elimination. And it's going to be Tobias, too, which is a... Uh, duelist for them and, and always towards the top two or three of the leaderboard at the top so that is not best case scenario does not mean that it's detrimental to him but you want to see there's the exchange so at least that's good you lose LHC now and so chokers immediately go right back down to the deficit of one and you're going to get a quick push here from Hutch they got the spike planted Odek gets picked off from behind. Gab was trying to see if he could get the shot with the op and not able to do so. So once again, Last Chokers get up to a two round lead and then immediately back to a one. So hopefully going into, you're gonna get side swap after this round. Hopefully you're gonna see the Chokers be able to head into that with a two round lead and get into the attack side of things. And right before we switched over, so it always just goes to the last person that is alive after the round. So when you see Hutch win around, it's going to go right to their view away uh, to start that. And we just hop off of it. But you saw that uh, the op is, is the play, most expensive gun play. in between rounds to buy. And so typically when somebody's already got it and using it, you're going to see whatever team comes out the victor is going to try and go pick that up. And you saw same strategy from the Blue Dragons that they actually tossed it over to their jet, who's their duelist too. And so you're going to have a couple of shots probably here pretty soon coming from the Blue Dragons of just absolute high caliber sniper shots. And it looks like the Dragons have split up just a little bit, so they're going to try and see if they can... Uh, now they're all rotating to mid, it looks like. So they're going to try and come on to uh, the site from the middle, kind of down those stairs right over there. Oh, big kill there from Tobias. And the best thing, too, is that with Reyna's ability, uh, when it's charged up, you get so many of those. Oh, unfortunate for Gab as he was actually I've in his ult right there, not able to pick one off. But as I was saying, Reyna, Reyna is able to get oh, a nomination to immediately pull health from that person that they just eliminated. So puts him in a really good situation. You're going to get a plant going here from the Blue Dragons. LHC wasn't quite able to pull off the shotgun kill right there. Last so it's going to leave stand. just Tobias by himself right now. He's going to get two. Even cut vision. He gets one. There's, so now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to have Jet around the corner. The thing that's good for him is that Jet has that op, so it's going to be tough for Jet in this close range. 
he's able to get the elimination. Not only does he get that elimination there, but he pulls off the ace for the round, gets ace. the defuse, and they do what go is? into... Wow, they go into the side switch up two rounds with a Switching very, sides. very impressive end of the round there from Tobias. And so you've got Tobias with 18, LHC with 15, really carrying the chokers right now. Uh, love, love, love to see some of those others start to pick up and, and, and support and everything. But it is tough on defense to get, I would say, probably on, on attack. You get the majority of your, your kills as you're pushing in and getting ready for it. Um, and it's much harder on defense to be able to know exactly where the attack is coming from. You have a little bit of sense of where the defense usually holds. Right here. And so now that the teams have swapped roles and Grays Harbor is Close on attack down. and Hutchinson is on defense, you see the colors change. Oh, and right there. So you see in our view now as, as the spectator, when they get blinded, you still continue to see, oh man, Spike impressive down, 2K beat. right there from Hutch. But you still continue to see what they would normally see with the blind. So even though Gab was sprinting They're past done. somebody right there, uh, and we saw that Last he was not standing. even seeing us. He was blinded. Spike down, B. So it's going to be just up to Tobias. He's going to try and see if he can get enough shots here with his frenzy. He's got One enemy Astra remaining. low. There's the pick on Astra. He's going to try and see if he can get Sova. Just not able to pull it off. So not quite able to do back-to-back -back absolutely clutch rounds. But as we can tell, Tobias is definitely heating up, which is a great sign there for the Chokers. Would have been nice to be able to win that all pistol round, but as we talked about going into uh, the switch after halftime, basically right there, they were up two rounds, so it gives them a little bit of that wiggle room, and we'll see if they're able to kind of stay and keep repeating history and get back up to this two round advantage. But yeah, as I was saying, since they switched roles, they switched colors there for their team, but luckily we have those scoreboard up above you so you know exactly which one is which. So that was that instance that we, we were talking about when you see that logo come up right there, the eye with the slash through it. Uh, that means that they are blinded in their view, so they actually can't see at that point in time. We can just see because we're in that spectator view. Oh man, Spike down. nice aim comes around the corner and gets not even off. That was Marshall from the jet, just takes one right to the dome, I think, so unfortunate right there. And then you get a flawless victory from Blue Dragons to be able to even things up and so it seems like uh the dragons are definitely comfortable in this defense game mode right here or this defense role for them so we'll have to try and see if the chokers are able to uh pick it up here on offense adjustments right there as we saw our scoreboard was a little bit off center now it should be centered up for you and it's ready to roll healing and we get a uh, trade right there so both teams lose one oh and Hutchinson's able to get down Tobias too so as we talked about really strong so far in defense Gab is able to even things back up though at three of two. gets shot in the back so unfortunate right there but we'll see Standing. Oh, and so they're able to grab both basically at the same time right there. Odette and Nice Aim go down. So Hutchinson, for the first time in, the, in a little while, recapture a lead and go up 8-7. Playing best of 25, so we're going to look for the first one to get to 13 here. Got to win by two, though, so that could come into play as we see quite a bit here of back and forth battle. Right here. 
chokers have struggled just a little bit here in the first three rounds of their attack side so got to try and get all on the same page really start to uh get their strategies rolling and their plays going and see if they can right the ship right here and get back onto that winning side of things here in the rounds and a lot of times it comes down to that first elimination you see here. it so many times whoever's able to get that first elimination typically goes on to win the round here in this match could see contact coming here. right here possibly So a couple of engagements, nothing really coming from it. A lot of really good smokes. You can tell that both of these teams have prepped really well. Oh man, Gap was just not able to hit those. How to play it out correctly. The chokers even things up so they trade all together. Spike down A. Instantly gets an op to the face. Somebody there at least. Just Odette left here. Found He's gonna put it down the seat. Get a little bit of help. Oh, gonna pick off the jet. Oh! It just was pinched. It was a good, well coordinated attack there from the dragons as they were able to come Jeez, on both I... sides right there. And just really not Don't give Odette an option. Well, the option was just who do I shoot at first? And typically, the other one's gonna be able to pick you off when they time it correctly, like they did there. So Dragons have gone off on a four win streak to start their defensive side of things. Go up to their first two round lead here of the match. And Chokers are trying to figure out how to stop the bleeding here and, and how to find a little bit of a crack here in the defense by the Dragons. Gab's able to get the first two eliminations here, so the Chokers will go in and push. They've got a 5v3 going on. A good wall there from Nice Aim. Kind of cuts off the angle right there. Coming up on Heaven. Spike has been planted, so now that timer is going to start. It's about 45 seconds. And so Chokers have just got to be able to play the game. I'm seeing if they can outlast here. This attack from... <laughs> Sorry, slip, slip of a finger right there. We are back. If he can hear, you know, I kind of got big fingers. Now we're good. There we go. Well, he's trying to see remaining. if he can get the last Sova. He's going to be able to do so. And it looks like everybody's probably going to run here as I caught. Who is it? Left for the jet was already basically on the other side of the map. Oh, and LG's not gonna quite make it out in time, but that is totally okay. The Chokers will take the round the win. Gab tried to see if maybe he could get a pick there. Actually, I think it was their jet trying to get the pick. Here. So Jet is going to go ahead and pop her ult. Oh, I keep forgetting that we switched colors and I saw the, the, the red over there on somebody and was like, oh my gosh, there's somebody right there. But we are red now. We are red. Oh, and so Jet's going to get blinded right there. But at least now knows that there's probably somebody around this corner because of the blind. So we'll see if this is going to be a good ult by them. Woo! Oh, they did take off of that off able to grab Tobias they're able to kind of double team right there on LHC so really a, a good couple of kills there for the dragons 
Oh man, he just wasn't quite able to get around the corner. Gap tried to see if he could get that pick and then get around the corner. As you're going to be even up here again, both are looking at two. Nice aim and Odette going against the last two here Thirty for the Dragons. Left. See if they can be able to outplay Chamber and Jet. It looks like they should have enough time with seeing where they are on the map to be able to get the plant, which will get them into a situation where now they can kind of try and just pull the point. Woo! So now the Dragon's Jet has ulted. Got rid of, I know it was at least four daggers. It could have been all of them. So maybe ult is, yeah, so ult is done for her. So it's just going to be 2v2, a good pick there by their jet at the top, and they're trying to figure out where Odette is. Gonna go for maybe the fake defuse right there. And Odette's gonna try and see what she can get. One enemy she remaining. gets Jet, has just gotta know where Chamber is now. Yes, and Odette is gonna get the clutch elimination right there. So just really a, a a good situation there for the chokers. I thought for sure after Odette popped around the corner right there and picked off the jet that Chamber was gonna be able to just turn around and know that she was back in that corner, but had no clue where Odette was. And so a huge play there from Odette to be able to tie things back up. And like we talked about it, chokers have figured out how to uh, stop the bleeding and they've tied it back up at 9-9. So now it's a brand new ball game. Now we're gonna play who can get to 13 first. Both are looking for four more round wins, and like we talked about earlier too, got to win by two. As you're you're kind of getting a game within the game right now too, is it's basically an off off by the, the two jets. Yeah, just didn't really stand a chance there after the blind and having an off in their hand, trying to go with close combat. LHC is able to even things up though, and you've got Jet low, low, low on the other side. Gonna be an easy one tap for the choke. Oh, not anymore as they got a heal, must have come from Sky. Uh, so would have liked to see them be able to push and get that, but another thing that's different from the spectator view than the, the normal view that the players have and the normal view that the players have. They, oh, great kill through the smoke right there. That's a big time play by Tobias. But uh, when you're playing this game on the other side, you can see them alive still, but you can't see their health bar like we can. So they didn't know that Jet was that low. Player standing. Oh. And so there's Sova gets the three right there. 30 seconds Puts the left. Chokers down with just one. And you're gonna get a blind on nice aim so they know where he is. And so the big play right there is not only the 3k but with the stinger, one of the cheapest guns in the game. Well, besides your secondaries. Chokers try to push around the corner and see if they can pick them off. I think it was their Sova. Can't remember correctly, but I'm pretty sure it was their Sova was able to get that. They try to push around the corner and see if they can get the last couple shots on him and just kind of lined up for him. And he just Need a quick dropped thanks. three of them in a row. And it looks like Chambers and Ult. So dead. So chamber ults, so now you're probably going to have two ops on the other side with Jet still having their op, and then chamber's ult gives him an op, which is that, that big old sniper that you see. I'm sure, I think that Gab has one too. So chokers really have to be careful here of the long distance gamers. The advantage goes to the dragons with having two operators in their hands and no gab's going with the phantom so two ops versus no ops could be an interesting thing chokers are going to want to make this a close range round right here as gab's picked off tobias at least Feeling knows safe. that there was somebody there was able to see him right before he popped back around the corner launching smoke you will not 30 seconds left Ugh. Down B. I think I blinked and missed what happened there. There was a revive happening, and I think an elimination happened during re mid revive. So that's really. Cool. Oh, 
on guard, but sees where they are. And he's going to go under Fury and try and see if he can get a Last couple of kills. Last player standing. Tobias is going to have to try and ace again by himself. Not looking so good. And there was the off right there from Chamber. I was going to say it wasn't looking super good for him, but you never count out Tobias, especially in those situations. So Chokers go down two here with Dragons pushing with just two left to be able to get their map victory. So you'd like to see Chokers at least grab two here to even things up and get it to 11 and get it to a two round game. Have the spike. And so another quick pick there as the op bottle, op battle goes uh, in favor of the dragons. LG is not able to the battle, but at least nice aim is able to come through and get that one. Spike down a. Kill on nice aim. So chokers are down to two again. Spikes. I think it was in nice aim's hands, and so it's down right there. Now you can see it on the screen. Yep. Killjoy's gonna try and see if she can get Last a player herself, standing. To help. <sighs> now you've got Tobias in another situation here, but at least this time it's a three v one instead of the uh, having to try and go and ace everything. I think that Sova Dart went too high and isn't going to get any intel from it. Ooh. Oh, and walks around the corner and gets shorted there by Jet. Match point. So the Blue Dragons have now pushed the Chokers to match point. If they're able to grab one more round here, it will be map victory. And the first map will go to... Dragons and Chokers have to rattle off at least three in a row here to be able to extend this map. Right here. So you saw a good recon dart there by... Sova seeing that majority of the team was right here and just kind of started flailing bullets through the wall to see if he can get an easy pick right there. But Launching smoke. at least going to where they down. Are. At least I thought they did. Because on the map, you can see that the dragons are still pretty spread out. So they're able to get gap early there. They're able to do so. LHC's able to get one. He's going to try and look to see if he can get another Plant right here. Spike. Oh, and through the blind, he's able to get another pick, so Chokers are going to go up, and subsequently, somebody else got one, too. I didn't quite see who it was. So Chokers get up to an advantage here. They're up 4-2 in the Agents category. And now they just kind of play the game of, let's see if we can hold this and make sure that Jet and Astra aren't able to come and get this to fuse. So Astra's going to use her ult and get that barrier and wall that goes all the way across the map up so they're trying to get the line. Remaining. good kill there from nice aim and the chokers are able to get jet even through her ult so a good response there we talked about hey how can you respond in this situation and so they get their backs up against the wall go and grab a round victory and so now they've got to rattle off two more here get a little momentum going and see if they can just win what will then turn into an right overtime here. game of who can win two rounds back to back first. I don't know. I think I think we'll just wish for the best, and, and I'm going to speak it into existence and just say, Chokers, just go rattle off four ruin, four, four round wins in a row right here, and not even have to worry about going back and forth in overtime. You should run. So Killjoy has been popped on site A right there. They're expecting the Jokers. I didn't quite see if they had recon going. I see that they were all there. Oh! 
I didn't see what happened there. I thought for sure there was somebody up in the corner and they were starting to shoot, but they didn't get it. Gap's gonna go ahead and even things back up. Dragons are, wow, exchange blow after blow after blow, and so after all the gunfire, it is gonna be maybe three. They are able to pick off Odette. So it's gonna be down to Gab and Tobias here to see if they're able to hold off the dragon just long enough to let this spike explode. Good kick there from Gab. One enemy they know remaining. that both are up in heaven. Tobias is able to get one from Gab to try and see if they can. Not able to do so. It's going going to be a one for one and Tobias is able to get the clutch kill right there. So Chokers pull within one right here. Backs up against the wall. They rattle off two. Hey, you know what? Get another one right here. Why not? Why not extend this thing? Death. Caution here. Dart there from Sova is able to see that the majority of the players here are on B, but it's a very interesting strategy, especially so far from the Blue Dragons, because I, I sit there and see that they get the dart up and know that almost all of the chokers are there on that site, and they still kind of stay spread out on the map. Oh, big time from Nice Aim. They're able to get two of them, so they're going to get Spike planted right there. And now, once again, they're playing the game of seeing if they can hold off the dragon. It's going to be a 5v3. The dragons immediately even things back up right there. Stim Beacon here. Another trade. Oh, and she's trying to pull this off, and he's able to do so. They tie it up at 12, so folks, we are officially into overtime. Uh, well, I guess actually not officially into overtime. Switching There's sides. one more round in overtime. the normal. Overtime. Oh, I lied. We are officially into overtime. <laughs> Thank you for the correction there, Valorant. I was thinking it's technically a best of 25, and so you technically play the 25th round before you're into the quote-unquote overtime, but I guess since it already is tied and they know that you can't win it in the 25th round go into overtime we're going to switch sides as now you can see the chokers are in blue so they are on the defensive side of things and so now you're going to go back and forth right every round switching back and forth uh, because they don't want to give anybody the advantage if somebody's better or the map is easier for defense or something uh, they want you to be able to have to win one in defense and one in attack here smokes down Right here. Molly! We're able to get the first elimination, but dragons respond right away and get one back. So it is a trade, but here. hopefully, uh, we'll see, as history has been foretold itself, that the first elimination has kind of gone on to win the round. So fingers crossed here in the world of the chokers. It looks like you're going to get left. a rotate here from the dragons. So we'll see if Gap can get one. He is able to do so. so not only is he able to get one and at least and keep it close, but he's able to alert the rest of his team that they're rotating. So that is another caveat, even though it's a a quick trade. Dragons go up one here. You're gonna have Ten Odette left. LHC. Spike planted.
Dragons are able to get the spike planted here on B, so now they get to play the same game the Chokers were playing of just holding them off. Good LHC shot. gets the first pick. You're going to get somebody right around the corner right there. He's able to get the second pick. So Chokers now actually own the advantage. They've just got to be able to figure out where the last Dragon is. They've got to push fairly quickly to be able to get the defuse going. He's able to get the last one. And it's going to have enough time there for the defuse. So the Chokers now put themselves in the situation to be able to be one away here. Sorry to spoil the party. From seeing if they can come back and, and win this. Switching sides. Match point. Smoke's down. There. Chokers once again are able to get the first pick of the round. Right, am I right there? Yeah, I'm reading it right. They get the first pick of the round, so... Trying to see if they can play with this advantage, take advantage of the advantage. <laughs> take advantage of the advantage, yep. A little double negative there. And see if they can get a couple of two-on-ones that they can win, or another another 1v1 and see if they can win that. So they're going to leave Gab behind to see if they can kind of take it. B, but unfortunately there was some kind of tripwire or something left behind. So they know that they rotated. The Chokers are at least going to get the spike planted, and so now they just got to try and see if they can hold it out. A good wall put up by Nice Aim, so they know at least one is up there as they had to take down the wall a little bit. Going to try and see if we can get to the wall. The Dragons are able to pick off Odette and get the advantage now. Here's going to be LHG is able to win that one. They even take it up. Player standing. Then, unfortunate time reload right there. So be down to Tobias again. Try and see if he can pull it off. Not able to do so, so they're going to switch again. We're right back to where we started. So Jokers are going to go right back on the defense to see if they can try, <laughs> see if they can try and get back up to a spot where they can win the game. Switching sides. Over Good push time. right there. They got the spike planted, so they were, they could, they could taste the win of the map. And the dragons just rip it out from right underneath them. Here. Chokers back on defense. Looks like you're going to have nice aim and gab over holding A and the rest going B as it's been pretty typical that uh, site that is very popular here in Molly. Two. Molly. Oh, and LHC just not quite able to get both of them right there. That one, but now we're going to get evened up again. A good kill there from Gab. Dragons are once again going to rotate, but are they going to go full? They are going to go full rotation this time instead of just the mid. Gab was there and kind of ready for it. Here's the plant start to go, so he's going to try and peek around see if he can get Spike He planted. sees at least that they are there, so he knows they're going to know. Get an immediate trade. Last oh, the nice name wasn't quite able to get around and get that one. Well timed blind. Another well timed blind. And so.
Tobias gets back to back blinds there and just not able to pull that one off. Chokers will now get pushed Switching to the brink sides. of defeat right here. Match Gotta point. be able to respond to extend the game again. So now you just gotta match the dragons. Last kind of a round, so to say, of overtime. Chokers won their, won their defense, lost their attack. Now we get to the other one where they lose their defense. And now you've gotta change the the narrative on the dragons again and switch it and win your attack. So you can hear that door closing now to your left, so Gap's probably gonna know that there's somewhere at least around the corner right there. Oh, she's checking all angles. Oh, my have a right here. Oh, just unfortunate time to change the angle of your building, but Tobias is gonna be able to exchange with him. Oh, but somebody else got dropped, too. So Gab was eliminated, too, so the, they're not even up. Chokers are going to be down one agent right here. Last player standing. I got the spike down. Defender spawn. So it's going to be all up to Odette here. 1v3. She's done it already once this match. So we'll see if she's able to pull it off again here in a pretty crucial situation to be able to do it. 30 seconds left. Sees that the door is closed. So I think they're kind of just baiting her into going and planting right here. She's going to take advantage. At least they're going to hear that the plant is going. Like they're all three going to push right here and it just didn't have a chance. So a fantastic first map here. The dragons are going to be able to defuse and win the first one. But as we talked about, back and forth battle the whole time goes into two rounds of overtime. Dragons are able to pull it off at the end. They'll head up 1-0 here in the series. It's the best of three maps. And so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and, and strap in. Uh, get ready for it because this could be this could be a long match heading your way. Uh, as we were saying at the very beginning, we were able to jump right into right into the action, so we love to see that. What's going to happen now is, actually no, I think with, with Valorant, they actually choose which maps and uh, such that they go to right off the bat. Uh, so it could be a quick turnaround of things here. Uh, basically, I think that what I'm seeing possibly is that they're changing between attack and defense. Uh, who is starting there? It looks like Blue Dragon started as attack on the first map, and it could be that the chokers are going to go to attack here to start the second map i think we're heading to bind as i can see there so we'll be uh so yes we're going to switch over to bind and it looks like we're going to be probably flopping sides right here as the full blue dragon squad has gotten in over into the observers and chokers will move their way over from there so 1-0 is going to be the score here to start after the first map uh hutchinson is going to go up and take the lead so now they're in a position where if they're able to come out and win this bind map, uh, they will be able to win the full match. Chokers, obviously, the goal in front of them is to go and win bind, uh, which is a very comfortable map for them. Uh, they know it well. Uh, they have a lot of strategies for it. They've worked on it a lot with their coach, U-Break. Uh, so uh, I have full confidence in the Chokers to be able to come out and, and play bind extremely well here and be able to even the series up at one and one. At that point, they would then head into the third map where the winner will take all there. Uh, so Choker's task in front of you right now is just to go and win bind, and then you can worry about the third map when you get there, basically. Uh, but really, really great games turned in from, from LHC and Tobias. A lot of great plays from them. A couple of aces, a couple of clutch plays, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you saw some great shooting uh, and, and some op battles between both jets, between Gab and the other team's jet. Uh, and then you see a couple. There was a 4K, I believe, came from Odette for a clutch win in one of the rounds. And then uh, lots of heals, lots of great stuff coming from Nice Aim, being able to do things. Uh, but you would like to see the the... After the first two, so as typical as you see here for the Grace Harbor Chokers, you know that you've got a ton of skill in the likes of LHC and Tobias, uh, always racking up high kill games and everything. But you would like to see uh, the other three just 
get a little bit more, get a little bit here and there and all that kind of stuff. And I think what's going to be most important here is winning some of those gun battles that they lost here uh, late in the first map. Uh, you saw, as we talked about it, both jets uh, in, in our jet B and Gab went back and forth with a with op shots going at the beginning of it. If you can see a couple of those more fall at the beginning to get the first elimination, I think the chokers are gonna be able to be in a really good spot here on bind. And as we saw how important it was, is just going and seeing if they can get that first elimination. Almost every single round, the person, or sorry, the team who won was the team who got the first elimination and put their team at the advantage uh, and, and obviously the other team at the disadvantage and being able to run with that but you see a lot of really good angles being held you see a lot of really uh intuitive plays here from both teams they kind of know exactly uh what should be played what route they should be taking they're kind of being able to trust their gut instinct and knowing when uh rotations might happen and flanks might happen and all sorts of things uh, so it's going to be a back and forth battle once again i would not be surprised to see overtime pop up once again here on uh, the second map which is going to be bind and then we'll just see how they're able to run with it from there as we talked about grace harbors backs up against the wall once again uh, like it was at the end of the first map they have to be able to win bind if they're not able to do so then they'll drop the match uh, and we'll go to four and one while the blue dragons will improve to five and oh uh, but we know coming into it, we knew how good the Dragons were going to be. We knew that it was going to be a back and forth battle. And so we talked about it multiple times before the matches. How can you respond here? How can you keep your head level? How can you keep your cool? How can you say, okay, they beat us the first map, but that doesn't mean that, that they're better than us. That means that we can come back, we can work, uh, we tighten up a few of these things, tighten up our communication, our rotations, all sorts of stuff. And then we go and win map two, and then we worry about map three when we get to it. Because it's really easy in this situation to fall back to, uh, oh, wow, they only were one round away. I don't know if we can do this and start to have that self-doubt in your head. Got to throw that out the window. Uh, get rid of all that together and just look at what's ahead of you. And, and right now, that is map two, which is going to be bind. Uh, and figure out how to win that. You got to throw everything out that happened on the first map and, and really start to focus on what can we pick out from Hutchinson and see what we can take advantage of here. So is there a little crack in their rotations? Is there a little crack in their holds? Are their angles not as well um, held as ours are? What what are maybe some routes that we can see? It's a new map, so what are we gonna take advantage of here? What's our, uh, what's our comp gonna be? What are we gonna look at? All sorts of different things. And so knowing where they're gonna go from there uh, is really important here for the chokers and being able to figure out all together what they're going to do. And so a lot of times you see in this little break time, as I talked about, they know what map they're going to. It's already picked and everything, uh, but you're going to have your teams talking with each other and figuring out exactly what's going to go. So all five of the chokers are talking with each other and figuring out, all right, here's what we worked with with you break before the game. Here's what our comp's going to be. Here's what we're possibly going to look to for rotations, for plays, for strats, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the same thing is happening on the side of the Blue Dragons. You talk about it in a traditional athletic standpoint where most games, I guess I wouldn't say most games, yeah, most most sports have some kind of break uh, in between either innings or the halftime that happens where you can go in and make adjustments based upon what you saw the other team doing, what they were playing, uh, their strats, their comps, all that kind of stuff and being able to figure out what they did, how we can take advantages of maybe some weaknesses they have in their game but also at the same time, figuring out what their strong points are and trying not to play into that hand. Uh, so you could be looking at and seeing, hey, they have a really strong uh, long range game. So their op shots are pretty solid. They're able to, uh, their engagements that happen at long range, most of the time they're winning that kind of thing. So maybe the chokers are gonna look at, hey, we need to have a lot more short range engagements here and maybe push a little bit quicker, get the spike planted. Once we get that spike planted, we hold pretty well. Uh, so it's just really figuring out Hey, what were our strengths? What did they take advantage of? What were our weaknesses? What did what can we take advantage of? All that kind of stuff. Uh, so both teams just talking back and forth uh, and getting ready to see if they can be able to pull off map two. Obviously, in Hutchinson's eyes, uh, they go and grab map two. They don't have to worry about getting to a map three and, and possibly facing that elimination game with the chokers on the choker side of things. And obviously, that means on my side of things. I'm hoping that chokers are able to go and grab map two, expand this game, uh, extend the game and be able to get to a point uh, where they have a chance to go and win it themselves, which is going to be fun because we're going to actually have, uh, we have two more matches coming up tonight. Uh, 
the first. So Overwatch has two matches going on tonight, one at six and one at eight o'clock. Uh, so they're not going to, you're not going to see the six o'clock game, but at eight o'clock, uh, they're going to be on the NECC stream. And you can literally just find them on Twitch on just typing in NECC uh, esports and you'll be able to find that. You also find it on our social medias and all good stuff. But they will be able to uh, go and play both of those. And so the interesting thing to watch is that Tobias is actually not only a Valorant player, but plays on Overwatch 2. Uh, so hopefully what's actually going to happen is that maybe that 6 o'clock Overwatch game is going to get pushed back a little bit because the Chokers are going to come here, win map 2, and play a little bit over past that 6 o'clock time in map 3 right there. And so it looks like at least one of our teams is readied up and ready to go here. We'll see uh, if the other team is ready to roll. They're both in there. And so both are in there ready. We're getting a little bit of a break in between. I think might be like a restroom break or something. But they're getting ready to roll again. As we talked about, they're going to go on to bind. Uh, I know that the Chokers really enjoy bind. They've worked quite a bit with you break on it uh, and feel comfortable in it. So... From my side of things, if there is a map, if we have to drop the first map and, and, and you got to go to a, a elimination match basically here for him, I would want Bind coming up as theirs because, like we said, it's the most comfortable that they're at. It's the most work they put in with it. Um, so hopefully I can see. I would love to see them be able to come out and, and not go back and forth with the Dragons, being able to come out and, and dominate this round, dominate this map, and be able to tie the things up one and one and have a lot of momentum going into the third map. But... No matter what, I will take a win. Whatever way it is, we go into overtime again. Oh, well. Uh, I just want us to be able to come out here and win this, work hard, all that kind of stuff. But uh, the good thing for the Chokers, as they've seen in map one, uh, as we talked about it back and forth, was starting 4-0. You never know what your competition was going into those games before earlier in the season. So you have two 4-0 teams. Both have played different teams, uh, have had different outcomes and all that kind of stuff. And so it's at least nice to see right now that the Chokers know that they can hang with the best of them. Because uh, obviously Hutchinson is also 4-0, and and so you know that they're at the top of the division. And, and they went back and forth in a, in a complete brawl in the first map. So they know that they can hang with Hutchinson. They know that they're good enough to. And so hopefully grabbing onto that idea uh, instead of looking at the last one and saying, Ah, oh, man, we lost the first map. Grab onto that and say, you know what? We competed. We took them to the brink of elimination. We're right there with them. We're just as good as this team. We can come out and win map two having confidence instilled in themselves and being able to go and grab it uh, is going to be extremely important here as we're just waiting for the teams to be completely readied up and, and ready to roll with things. But as we talked about, 4-0 is a, is a great spot to be. I believe it was two 4-0 teams at the top as you're seeing them play each other right now. And then I think we have 3-1 and one right below us. And then the rest of the, the group is looking at the 2-2 the two two records, the 1-3 three records. Uh, and I don't think anybody is winless in our division. So it's going to be a tough division here going out. So a win here, being able to come back from, from down 0-1-2 and being able to grab the win here is going to be a really big play here for the Chokers if they're able to do so. Not only do you get up to 5-0, and uh, but you completely ruin the tiebreaker for Hutchinson. So really a, a win here could possibly be at the end. Uh, make it a two game gap between you and the next team because even if you tie against them and say uh, after next week so say that Grace Harbor is able to pull this off and they go to 5-0 and oh, Hutchinson goes to 4-1 and one. next week the Chokers lose their game and Hutchinson wins then theirs they would both be tied at 5-1 and one, but the Chokers would maintain first place as we had beat Hutchinson head to head and that is the first tiebreaker that you go to so really in this situation when you're both tied and undefeated at the top uh, a win goes even further than just getting a game up on the other team. You really get two games up on the other team as you hold that tiebreaker also. So you kind of give yourself a little wiggle room to be able to lose uh, one more game and get tied with them. But obviously, uh, you can keep that completely out of the equation by winning this game and just continuing to win and not have to worry about a tiebreaker whatsoever uh, as we had quite a few and I would expect it again with just so many teams in our league uh, in this NJC AAE conference there was a ton of tiebreakers all throughout the league uh, some of them were first place some of them were second place some of them were for the final spots going into the playoffs and so it even took a little bit longer than they were expecting to be able to get the playoff brackets out for all the different games that are in our conference 
because there was so much work that they had to go through. They had to go back through all the games. They had to count the rounds one. They had to count the differentials. They had to figure out who beat who and see how many head-to-heads they went through. And then there was three-way ties. So then the head-to-heads are thrown out the window and all sorts of crazy stuff going on. Uh, so we will see if the chokers, like we talked about, are able to just kind of keep that completely out of the situation and just throw that out the window and be able to uh, go into the, the win column here and be able to extend to five and zero. Oh. And as you can tell, I'm rambling a little bit here, trying to buy some time as, as we still got one that we're waiting to ready up right here and get ready to roll. And it looks like the match chat possibly getting there. I love the I love the name Fudalicious. It's kind of like Fergalicious, but I'm thinking, hmm, what are we? I'm I'm thinking like, like fudge, like the candy. I'm a big fan of fudge. All the different flavors that you can get from fudge, the butterscotch. You can go classic traditional chocolate. You can go vanilla if you're not a chocolate fan. Uh, you can get the cookies and cream fudge. Really, any kind of flavor that you can think of, they can they can make into a fudge bar for you or a square or whatever it is. And so. I'm going to run with, from the other team, from Hutchinson, Fudalicious is like delicious fudge. We're going to go with that. That's 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 what it's meaning right there, and, and I'm going to run with it, and I like it. And then you got Saucy Boy for them. Actually, I think I pronounced it incorrectly, because when you spell it B-O-I, it's boy. So Saucy Boy. Kill Switch, that's a good one. Alpha Tanker. I'm personally, for me... Uh, I gotta work on my screen name because everywhere it's just always been Mitch Marg 5 or 511 or whatever, which is just a combination of my first and last name, and it's just kind of boring. So I've been trying to think in my head and, and figure out exactly what I'm gonna go with. So if you have ideas out there and you're hanging out and watching with us, uh, feel free to drop any ideas to us. And now you're not gonna have to listen to me anymore as we are heading into the third, or sorry, not the third, the second map right here. And we're going to have Bind coming your way, right?
swarm grenade. Swarm grenade out. Boys and ore emitting. Last player standing. Clutch. Alarm bot. So chokers are able to grab the first round here, uh, which is important too because they start on attack, uh, and so able to get that victory right there is important as we saw. Uh, attack wasn't their super strong suit in the last match. Or in the last map. Sorry. say that uh, in talks with the team and knowing how it goes is that fight is a little bit attack map in general uh, so that can one be enemy easier, remaining chokers have been able to get the spike planted on both rounds so far they were able to let it explode the first time no. they're gonna get the flawless victory here in the second round so if that is true, uh, if it is the map that's allowing you to be a little bit better on the attack side of things, you've got to take a stronghold here on your attack. Uh, you want to put yourself in the best situation possible going into the defense. And so they get out to a 2-0 lead. Run away with this thing. Don't even make it close. Down. Ah, turn it down. Ah. Ah. Spike has been planted. Choke is up one right here. Would have been nice to be able to get that elimination. Not able to do so, and so now they're going to be completely evened up. As you've got Gab and Tobias left. And here comes the classic Tobias Viper plays as he gets fantastic lineups. All Last the player standing. Toxins out extremely One enemy well remaining. Up. As you see it right there on no the spike. They get the kill, but I don't think there's going to be enough time to defuse right there. So Chokers are going to go up 3-0. Really a good start already here, uh, but we talked about it just last round. Good starts only go so far. Let's see if you can get a great here. start. Can you get a phenomenal start? Can you get a, what would be above phenomenal? An extraordinary start. Can you get a phenomenally, extraordinarily great here. start going? Uh, so Chokers, like we talked here. about, want to push and see how many rounds in a row can you grab here to really put yourself 
in a great position to be in. Continue to extend, continue to ride it. Ride the wave, chokers. trained you. standing. So Blue Dragons are able to stop a little bit of the bleeding on their end and get that round their way right there and get the defuse. And so as you can see, they're setting up their defenses, getting ready for the chokers to be able to come on the attack side of things. And I know that the lineups are going to be on full display here by Tobias's talks about all the time going into a lot of custom games doing his own lineups figuring out where he has to look and toss his venom to be able to or toxins to be able to see exactly where they're going to land and so a lot of really good stuff is going to come from tobias here Tox, boys and orb emitting Chokers and dragons Stay getting exchanged there. Dead. Down you oh, go. She gets a big elimination right there to get them back in the advantage. <laughs> Tobias is not able Spike to get the down, plant right there. He was gotcha. just about ready to. Last player off. standing. Launching 30 smoke. seconds left. There goes nice aim. And so it's going to be down to LHC. He's going to have a one enemy gets remaining. one of them. Three. Knows where the other one is just because that's where uh, nice aim was eliminated from. He's going to see if he can get a little bit of a rotation. Smoke's down. He's send in his smoke to see if he can use that as his advantage. 10 seconds oh, left. Oh, it was a good shot. He was just trying to shoot through the smoke and see if he could get it. Spike planted. We 
defend this place. So dragons too. respond immediately we with two more rounds reality. victories. Pull within right here. Here's that magic number that the chokers have been at. Two rounds advantage, but we talked about it binds a, a good map for attack. So chokers want to try and see how big of a lead they can have going into halftime here. Or just have a lead in general, really, is, is what you've got to make sure you focus on. But I think LFC planted right there and was expecting their Astra to come from the angle he was holding and just happened to come a different way. LFC gets a quick pick right there, so that is beneficial there for the chokers. Launching smoke! actually seen in the, the one and a half seasons so far this year. I don't think I've actually even seen him play Brimstone once. So obviously just fits the comp, fits the uh, strat for the map and just what they want to do overall. Well divided. Nice aim gets the, the classic Sage Judge kill right there behind his wall. Alt to try and see if they can block the chokers off from going and looking at the One enemy remaining. Good play there from Gab to push through and say and realize that there was a defuse happening. I don't think there's gonna be enough time to be able to close off. There is there is not, and LHC was trying to see if he could get the kill before it, so got a little hungry there from it. But chokers are gonna pull three over into the next round, so they're gonna get to a three-round lead, be in a good spot. See if they can continue to extend. Alarm bot out. Spike down A. Your duty is not over. I must record this. Ah! Larry is here. Plant the spike. No charges. One enemy remaining. So Joker's able to respond once again and get another round victory, so. I, I think I could be fine with a with a constant back and forth of two rounds, two rounds, two rounds, especially if the chokers getting the first, so uh, hopefully staying up at, by at least through the whole time, but obviously going and just rattling off. So what is this? This is round nine. We've got nine, ten, eleven, and twelve left before the change, so if you can grab all four of those before heading into your defensive side of things, uh, being able to have a 10-2 lead going into it would be extremely beneficial for the chokers. Uh, but just like any other time, just focus on winning this round, get through this one, and just continue to win as many rounds as you can with, with letting up as few round wins from the other team. Name of the game, right? Oh, just right around the corner. Oh, they are going to get the pick. I thought it was actually going to... Who was it? Was it Odette that was right there? I thought it was going to come around the corner, but Tobias gets a long pick. But Chokers walk into a really nice held angle right there from... I think it was Sova of Blue Dragons. And so they lose both. I think it was Tobias and Gab right there in that situation. So it's going to be down to Odette and LHC to get a plant and to hold off the dragons from being able to get defused. Launching smoke. 
So it looks like they might go for a little bit of a rotate here. Brimstone dropped a smoke on site at B. Possibly trying to see if maybe he was catching the dragon's thinking. LHC has no clues he's there, but they're going to come right, right around the here. corner here. Oh, right down. Down. And they're able to grab both of them. So just a really unfortunate thing there for LHC as he was trying to get another smoke down after getting a pick. But obviously from the other side of things, Fudalicious, uh, really a great angle to hold right there. Knew exactly what he needed to do and pulled it off. Right here. Yeah, just really good. Right here. Really good communication and coordination there by the dragons as as Paris was pointing out. He looked for the shot down the, the way. Picked off the jet so they didn't expect anybody else to be there and Asher was just sitting there waiting for him. So immediately after losing LHC, the Chokers take two back on the Dragons. Put themselves in a pretty good spot right here. You're going to get engagement right there. And with the Sheriff, their chamber basically just walk around the corner and put a round right into nice aim face. Oh! And right when they were just trying to take down the Recon Dart, unfortunate time right there as Chamber was able to get a good angle. You're going to have a diffuse going right here. One enemy oh remaining. my goodness, and the toxin from Tobias is able to take out the dragons right right before right before they defuse. Sorry, I was wrong on that. It was actually it was it was Killjoy aka Odette's swarm right there in just a combo of that man. That was impressive. Just Literally in the nick of time. I mean, I think that there was maybe a sliver left there of the diffuse and just able to pull it off. Down and out. Spike down, B. Last player standing. So it's going to be just up to Odette here. Dragons know where the spike is, so it's going to be a pretty oh, tough play ace. for them to be able to come around. And you're going to get a team ace, so every single player there on the Dragons team got a kill. Last round in the half. And so Chokers are either going to go into the swap, up two or up four. Personally, I would love to see up four, obviously. Uh, so big crucial round right here to be able to swing things.
Spike's gonna be down once again. I have the spike. Unfortunate too, as Tobias has just used his ult, but is possibly gonna look for the play right here to maybe rotate. So going to use the distraction of his ult going on Toxins going up. site A and see if he can rotate. We could have an engagement right here. Jet not standing. able to pull it off. Spike Head down B. Jet just had the the good intuition to be able to rotate there with Viper. 30 seconds left. It's going to be a tough as he's got to be able to push and go and get Spike and then plant. You can already see that Dragons have one on Spike. Ooh, and they go into the corner there. So he's got to check that in. Just does it a little bit too late. So Dragons are able to pull it within two going into the swap. So Chokers have been historically good on the defensive side of things. I know that Bind's definitely a, a map that is... A little bit tougher from the defensive side, but we'll see if they're able to uh, kind of really hunker down here and get their defensive set and ready to roll. Charges left. Toxins going up. Oh. Toxins screen down. Oh. Would have been a big pick right Last there. Player right. Get it. One now. enemy get a remaining. One here. Spike Jet down. B. No charges left. Nice aim. You're gonna have both at just about the same damage to same health. Oh my god. Oh. He's able to land one, so it's going to be a one tap here on Jet. 30 seconds left. Oh, and he's able to get it, so a big win there to start the defensive round. I thought for sure, I think we actually both thought for sure that when he came around the corner and peeked, that Jet was going to be able to be up on top of that container. Not able to get the kill, though, and a big, big, crucial kill from Nice Aim right there. Remaining. Toxin screen down. Sw swarm grenade out. Tors and orb emitting. Great play there by Tobias. It was a one tap on Sova. The poison's off. 
they kind of just took the risk of both going to each spot and holding for either rotation or anything. And Tobias just pops him right through his wall that goes up. The chokers take the first two rounds here of the fence, which is a good sight to see. Century. So dragons respond really well right there, able to come off and I thought it was flawless, but I think at the end I saw that chamber was possibly eliminated, but still a, a really good round victory for them to be able to get right back on the right path. So chokers want to stop all momentum right here and just go for it. Keep them ground. I got the spike. LHC early, but Tobias is going to trade with him and get their Astra out of the way. So it's going to be important here for the Chokers to be able to grab one more. Or oh, it looks like their jet is extremely low. I mean, not even one tap, half a tap. Toxins going up. Oh, and there it was. Or the toxin, the toxin goes up and is able to pick off. It wasn't even the, like I said, the, the half a tap that Jet had left. And you're going to have Sky extremely low too, so we're evened up at three and three. 30 seconds left. Dragons have done a full rotation. It looks like a nice aim had a little bit of intuition, thinking that they were going that way too. Could possibly catch somebody coming through the door. Killed. A big time kill right there, especially the sky Fine. low. Planted. So you really got one and a half left. Now Sky does have heals, so we'll see if she's able to uh, regenerate that ability in enough time. Can't tell if she was on the other side of that wall right there, or if she's going to be right. Nope, she is on the other side. So she is down. healing right now. See if Kill Killjoy is able to come around the corner and catch her healing. One enemy remaining. Was able to do so. Sova is going to use his ult. Device is going to do his best uh, able breaking situation here. Nice aim is going to be able to get the defuse off. We are going to get the kill on Sova too. So Chokers get the defuse and wipe out the dragons all together. So a good win right there to put themselves in a situation where they're looking for three more round wins be able to force a map three. Turret out. As one. You want Get to play? Let's play. So I was looking down, but it sounded like Chamber just put his ult on, so he will have op in his hand. And we know from the last map how 
how deadly uh, this Dragon's team is with the Operator in their hands. A little bit different a map though, not a whole lot of long holds uh, in alleyways, kind of like Ascent had, but still, like right here from the window, you can easily get him off going on. Oh, he's gonna get that target now. He's able to do so. He gets it off, they're able to get two Spike picks. Down, B. Spike is here. Oh, I didn't see though, but Zodet was picked off though too. You're gonna have Jet kind of around that corner right there. Viper's gonna go ahead and ult. Oh, we're gonna have Jet v Jet, ult here. Oh, he's getting Gab is able to pull it off, so you've got one left team here for the A. Dragon. You get a Team A, so a fantastic round there on defense there for the Joker. Able to spread the wealth all around, and so they're just one away from being able to double the total here from the Dragons. Really pushing themselves into a great spot right here. You want to just go and grab these next two rounds and not have to even worry about how much wiggle room you have. Like we talked about, not only is it important to come in, and get this map victory to be able to force the third map but if you can get it in the situation in the in the fashion that they're looking like they're able to pull off uh you're going to get a lot of momentum going your way into the third map and we know how far momentum can go launching smoke i've got your trail toxins going up Dragons are able to pick off Tobias and Gab early here in the map. Oh, you're going to get an engagement here. Oh, no, I thought he was going to open up this guy. Spike planted. Corner. Now you can get an engagement. LNG did even things up in 3v3. Oh, and you're going to get a revive there from Sage. And so actually, we're up one. Oh, there's that off that we were talking about. Sova's low. Oh my goodness, Ops all over the place here. Toxins going up. So Tobias just gets out of the way there. Oh my goodness, Shots all over the place coming. There's just too much action going on as Odette's just going to try and see what he's going to do. So the dragons are able to get a round back here from the chokers. Pull within four. And now you're sitting here and you know that you've got two ops in the hands of the dragons. Uh, so I think that if the chokers are able to hold them off from getting the plant, uh, they'll be in a really good situation. But once they get that spike planted, they're able to hold angles pretty well and basically turn themselves into the defending team. And with those with those operators in their hands and how well they shoot them as we've seen so far uh it's it's got to be it's it's pretty crucial for the chokers to be able to try and, and hold these angles well Ooh, lucky right there as he didn't get into the to the door when he uh dashed away right there it was kind of an easy target but their jet had just happened to go around the corner too so got lucky a lot of angles being hold can't tell. It looks like they're probably pushing B right here. And they've just got, I think it's Chamber holding that angle on A. Smoke's down. Oh, and now he's going to teleport. And so now they are going to push full-fledged B right here. Chokers have got to try and see if they can get Boys one picked off. off at least. Or just hold them back long enough to get the rotation from their other teammates. As it actually looks like Nice Aim's going to hold back a little bit and see what is going on over on A. Call, trying to get a, uh, be a, ready for a rotate. LHC is going to go now though too. Thirty seconds left. Stim beacon down. Found them. Strong grenade out. 
And some dragons get one push, and I think they see that and know what's going to happen, and they're going to push hard. Lisa is able to get one right there, so good pick to the dead. You're going to go 2-2. Oh, unfortunate for him right there. And then nice aim is going to get blinded, so it's going to be a 1v2. Good off shot right there. So dragons are scraping right back into this game. This is what we talked about. No lead is no lead is safe. No lead is safe ever. And so you want to just go and get these next two rounds and not worry about you do not want to get into overtime, especially after having that big old lead. Uh, you don't want to give the momentum to the dragons way. So it'll be really big right here if the chokers are able to hold off the dragons attack. Placing swarm grenade. Placing swarm grenade. Launching smoke. Stim beacon here. So they all go through teleporter right there. Good move. They're going to get a full rotation. Luckily, they've played it the whole time. That save has been there. But they're going to full rotate and then rotate again. 30 seconds left. Wow, this is a fantastic and impressive play right here. The chokers have no idea that it is coming. They went through teleport. <laughs> And they're going to re-rotate again. They might be able to actually get there in enough time. But I think this is going to buy enough time here for the dragons to be able to get the plant Ten down. Ten seconds left. Spike planted. So they are able to get the plant. They exchange a couple of blows back and forth. Chokers are down to a 2v4 situation. 2v3. Last player standing. One enemy remaining. 1v2, 1v1, but LHC has no clue where he is, and I think he's going to sneak from behind here. <gasps> he gets the pick. Nice try, kid. Is he going to have enough time? I think there is going to be enough time to get the defuse. Oh my goodness, and he has one HP on the clock right there. Wow, an impressive play there from LHG to put Match the chokers point. to the brink of victory right here. Wow, an impressive right play. He gets the kill with the marshal, or sorry, the sheriff. Oh my goodness, now you're going to go full buy, full send. You got both your... You've got both your Killjoy ult and your Brimstone ult, so we'll see if the Chokers use those here. As Chambers right here. already gathered ult again, and so you're going to have an op in his hand. You want to play? Let's play. Or is it or? Permitting. Oh, 
So Chokers are able to, they are going to use, they're at least going to use their Brimstone ult. And we'll see if Killjoy pops theirs also. Start to defuse. See if Killjoy can get theirs. There goes Sova's ult. is able to get the Killjoy. Oh boy. They make big plays to tie this thing back up at two ages to two ages. The spike has been planted. Standing. It's just up the gap. Not able to do so. So the Blue Dragons make big plays right there to pull within three. Chokers still are in a great spot right here as they just have to win one before the Dragons win three, I think. Even if the Dragons win two and they win one more. Yeah, so they've got to win one before the Dragons win three. Uh, but for my health, I'd like them to just do it right here and, and relieve a little bit of stress that I have. Get out of my way! Gap tried to grab that quick kill right there. That would have been clutch there for the chokers. You can see if we're gonna get a pick right there through the app. Smoke is gonna be able to do so. Chokers grab two. They're gonna grab three more agents. So now chokers are sitting at a 3v2 right here. Spike has not been planted yet, so they know that they at least have to plant down. at some point in time. You're gonna have Viper's ult, you still have Killjoy ult. Toxins going up. Viper should be able to get around the corner and possibly one enemy right here. remaining. He's going to be able to do so. Spike down. Oh, tried Last to switch guns. Standing. So it's going to be up to Odette to see if they can just stop them from being able to go and get the plant. Chamber is going to come around the corner right there, so we could have engagement right here. Recalling my boss. Oh, and he's able to do so. So the dragons pull off another round victory right here. So really, I think the, the play right there was just the unfortunate time of switching guns and picking up. I think that was a Vandal laying there. I think just a split second different. And if Tobias is able to get that up grenade. completely, he knows where that chamber was coming from, gets the shots off, and is able to play it. So Astro's gonna pop their ult, get a complete wall up across the whole map. You're gonna have Viper go ahead and ult on site plant B over there. Basically kind of just saying, hey, Spike down A. Actually, wasn't able to get the other one, so they're gonna get a complete trade. Enemy down, LHC is able to grab one. Oh, another trade. Toxin screen down. Another big operator kill right there. Odette's gonna go around the corner and see if she can be able to pick off right here. Last player oh. standing. So it's gonna be up to Tobias here, see if he can grab the three eliminations and gets one of them. Oh, he doesn't know where the other ones are. There's going to be one behind him, I think. It's going to be a Yeah. That smoke goes down right there, and the dragons are clawing back into this. And so here's here's the here's the biggest round of the game. You don't want to go into overtime here. We, we talked about it. Uh, you want to be able to just win it and not have to worry about trying to get two in a row and going back and forth and all that kind of stuff because once you get to overtime you never know what's going to happen so here's the round here's your last chance to just go and win it outright uh you're going to have everybody buying everything you've got enough money you've got enough supplies all good stuff you're going to have the option of getting a revive right here so sage does have her ult and all you have to to be able to live through is the sky ult um which is very doable so Expect to see a couple of big plays here from... Uh, I'm thinking that you're going to see either a big LHC or a big Tobias play right here. They catch the drone so they at least know that the Sova is over here. Can kind of guess and see. So you 
he's got the whole Dragons team here at B. Ooh, moved just in time as that dart was able to show where Viper was standing there, where Spaz was, and they took a shot with the op. And if he wouldn't have moved, probably would have worn that, and that would not have been a good start there for the choke. Oh, no. The perfect play gets the flank. He's able to see two of them. Was trying to pick off two and just wasn't able to hit the shot right there. There's a good play. So you got a four on four. It looks like possibly. Yeah, we have a teleporter. And are going to get a full rotation. Open up the sky! LHC is going to pull his hole out. He's going to get out of two charge. kills right there. You're going to get a revive. The Chokers are in a good situation right here. Sky's going to. Sky. Sky is going to pop their ult. See if they can get something going here. Spike has been planted, so Chokers do have to still defuse. One enemy remaining. They're going to get one. There's one left here. Chuggers are just going to go and defuse. They're going to get the last elimination. So we are going to be heading into a map three here. Defenders My goodness, win. as if two hours of Valorant wasn't enough for you. Oh, geez. I'm trying to get... We have a... Fun situation here going on as uh, our Overwatch, our first Overwatch match was supposed to be starting um, now, uh, and we have Tobias here hanging out with us, and so we've got to figure out and, and make sure. Luckily, uh, Hastings colleagues with us is is being awesome and is and is ready to wait for us. But now we're going into map three. They're gonna have to wait until after this one to get going. My goodness, uh, just. Lots of fun going on, and so we'll see if we're able to get into this third map fairly quickly here. Like I talked about, uh, they already know what map they were going into, uh, so hopefully they're able to just kind of turn around and, and, and get rolling pretty quickly. Oh, good. I love five-minute breaks. That's perfect timing. Uh, luckily, I, good for me as I can't get my my phone Discord up and running because I was going to try and message and say, hey, let's roll into this one as quick as we can, but... Uh, I do get, I do get, you, you've been playing for two hours. Uh, you had a long round right there. I get that you're taking a break, um, but we'll hopefully get rolling as quick as we can and, and get ready to get things going. But boy, what a good, good response there from the chokers. You would have liked to see them close it out a little bit quicker there. Uh, it got a little bit nerve wracking towards the end as the dragon started to scrape right back into that thing. But all in all, at the end of the day, or at the end of the map, I guess so to say, they get the win. They get to move on to map three. We'll see shortly here what map three is going to be for them. But uh, Chokers do get momentum. You give a little bit back there to the Dragons as they, they came back from a deficit at the end and really started to make it close. Almost got it into overtime. So probably don't capture as much momentum as we would have liked to see with them winning that round, uh, winning that map. But all in all, we're into the third map. We're going to be playing... Uh, winner take all so whoever's able to win this next map is going to be the match winner uh, and will improve to 5-0 and oh. so we talked about it at the very beginning I did not expect anything less coming here I knew that there was probably a good chance for three maps being played with both of them sitting at 4-0 uh, both really skilled teams and so we will see who is able to best who here on the third map uh, we're going to go over and, and run over and check and see uh, with the team how they're doing and all that kind of stuff. So enjoy our fantastic cinematic that we have prepared for you and uh, it, on the map that we were just on. So enjoy a little bit of the sky view of Bind.
All right, after a little bit of break, we are going to be heading into map three right here. We got our bathroom breaks in. Uh, we got a little bit of coaching talk here and there and all kind of stuff as both teams know how crucial map three is. Obviously, it's literally win or go home. Uh, so we're heading to Haven. You're going to see the comps being compiled there on the sides. It looks like... Looks like the dragons are going... Correct me if I'm wrong, the same... No. I believe that Reyna is new for them. I don't remember who that was. There's no Jet. So they switched Jet for Reyna. Oh. So it looks like, yeah, so Jet and Reyna, or Reyna gets subbed in for Jet over with Blue Dragons, and we go back to the comp from the first map. So Tobias goes back to Reyna rather than Viper like he was on Bind. So pretty much incorrect. Yes, thank you for pointing that out. Gab switches over to Sky, which is pretty typical of what we've seen from Gab. Um, so you're only going to have one quote-unquote duelist on the team for the Chokers. So we'll see how that works out for them. So dragons are able to grab first elimination there so now we're hoping that it doesn't stay with the trend of the first elimination wins the round but they will start on the attack side of things where chokers are going to be defending it is a tough map here for defenses there's three different points that you have to be able to defend uh, so it expands from the two that we saw on vine to three so a little bit more difficult there so chokers just really want to have a good showing here on the defensive side of things if you can obviously come into the switch uh, with a, a lead, that is huge stop. for you. But worst case scenario, you want to try and keep this game as close as you can going into that halftime switch. Having their vision. Tobias gets one with his ghost. He's going to try and get some long picks right there with it, but not able to do so. Oh boy, you're going to have a full out fledged push right there from the dragons on C. Ooh, one pick right there. She one enemy remaining. Huge to get another. There was a lot of stuff that just happened, and I have no clue how to track it all. But you're going to have a 2v1. Yes, Odette is able to get the elimination there, so they're going to be able to get the defuse. So Chokers are able to grab the first round here. Thanks. Oh, tag, you're it, Odette, as uh, Reyna decided oh, to let no, Killjoy get a little bit of action right there, mentions. too. So I think that's probably a hey. Great elimination right there to be able to get us to this point. You go ahead and, and finish the defuse. And pointed out to me uh, by Zero once again is that you get the alt point for being able to get the, the finish right there on the defuse. So probably a strategic play right there from Reyna. So I like to see this. I like to see the coordination, the communication, and, and overall teamwork here early from the Chokers. Killed my bot. Stim Beacon here. Uh. Oh. So get two, three. Spike three down. I think A. we got one. Kicked off one uh, enemy that remaining. Down. You're going to have one left, so just chamber. You're gonna be able to get. Oh, that's a, that's. I like that. The Star Wars inside of me.
I think I think we're gonna go with the term fit. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. My my Valorant knowledge is not super top notch. We're gonna go with the the finisher that just showed right there on that final elimination kill. Uh, the Star Wars nerd inside of me. Shout out Obi Wan Kenobi series coming out here pretty soon. Pretty excited for that. Uh, but the the Star Wars fan in front of me inside of me was like, hey, that kind of looked like the uh, the ATAT -AT going at him, but. Oh, hashtag, I like it, yes, we're talking about, I think, shout out Disney, if you want to sponsor us, we'd love to drop your, your, your content all the time, I'll, I'll give Disney quotes whenever you want it, my, uh, my wife wants to bring Disney at the house, and drop 24 7 so and in that time maybe that's not a good sign for Long the Disney thing because there was a line of bullets basically kind of, Choke has kind of stood in the line right there and let him get the flurry of bullets out of him. Odette's standing. not able to grab one so it's going to be just down to nice aim right here Spike I'm planted. feeling it though I think I'm, I'm feeling a five oh, oh, never mind. I was feeling good about it but Flawless victory right there from the Dragons to be able to capture back uh, their first round win and pull within one. So, momentum swings their way. But as we talked about, as we've seen the whole time, uh, I don't think any of us expected anything less than just absolute back and forth right here. gets one there Tobias grabbed another one so it was overall a good play if, if he knew exactly where each one of them were he was gonna be able to drop all three of them but the problem was trying to figure out where everybody was once he dropped in one enemy oh remaining. nice pick through the storm storm I don't know why I said storm through uh, the the smoke there Wow I, I think I just went panic mode there for a second but really good both picks were through the smoke really so chokers are, are faring, faring pretty well so far on defense right here. So I think the dragons possibly uh, knew exactly where Gab was right there as they saw the blind come around the door. So they just sights down on the door and waited for him to come around the Launching corner. Smoke. So Tobias is going to pop his ult as he gets it early here in the round. I think the thought process there is, well, one, I can do a lot of good stuff with my ult, but two... I got it so early, if I pop it now, I might be able to get another one before the side change. Found them, killed my bot. Strong grenade out. So luckily, Odette had an alert bot there to let them know that they completely rotated. Spike planted. Plus, so she's able to grab one, not able to do so, so it's going to be down to LHC and Tobias here to be able to push site A, get some eliminations and get it defused. Doesn't look uh, super promising, but I will say... Uh, that if you have to flip a coin and, and choose two of them for the chokers to be able to the right between the eyes. Be these two. And the kill Out through of the smoke right there is, is, is beacon down. Uh, being able to take a couple shots. Oh, if you're able to grab one more. Last player standing. So it's going to be difficult to see, but doable for him. We've, we've seen the skill. I think the time is going to be a little bit not on his side. He's able to pick off, I think, three right there. So a good fight from him. But once again, dragons are able to grab around and pull within one. We talked about it, Chokers. Just continue to fare, continue to fare, continue to fare. Uh, have a good, good defensive round. 
see if you can just at least keep this game close um, have a good lead if you can get a sizable lead going into it obviously that's huge but you just want to you just want to be able to try and get into the side swap with a lead in general you want to play let's play oh boy you're gonna have an op right here in the hands of chamber as he just popped his ult so I'm a little nervous for this peak as Chamber is just holding this angle down. And I will say that that Gab is definitely one to peak as he loves to get his kills. So this could be an interesting situation going down over on C lane. I've got your trail. I think that he's able to pull off getting those ults out of the way. Get a couple of lines. The hunt begins! I was gonna tell, I think that Gap got picked off. Chokers are gonna try, and there goes the fire. Oh. Ellie, she's gonna try and see if he gets one. He gets two, so he gets things somewhat even backed up. Last player standing. So, oh, good fight from the Chokers once again. Dragons are able to even it up, but we talked about it. It's extremely hard on this map in defense. Because you've got so many sites, so many different angles and paths that you can come from on the different sites. So, uh, chokers are faring well so far. You love to see them be able to go and grab another round victory right here. Is you don't want to try to fall behind and give momentum the way of the dragons. Ooh, the way of the dragon. I love that skin. I like to call it the Groot gun. Kind of looks like something that would be made from him. But Chokers withstood uh, fairly well. Put up a good fight against, I think there was at least two alts, if not three, popped right there on that last round. So they're going to have a couple in their hands. We'll see when they choose Launching to smoke. those. Who trained you? So first pick of the round goes to the Chokers. LHC's able to grab one, puts themselves in a decent spot, and it looks like we check in on, on Gab and Nice Aim doing a squat off, it looks like. Who can get the, the most squats in the least amount of time. So here, and here's definitely the part two that, that makes it really tough. There's just so much wiggle room back there, so they they can kind of stay back and, and play the passive game and pick and choose uh, which site they're going to go after by trying to go out ah. where the chokers are. Thirty That's a big seconds pick left. There for Chamber getting nice aim off the wall Smoke's there. So. Down. Oh, I thought Gab was going to take a couple shots, and they get Tobias over on the other site, so they're going to go ahead and plant oh, on the Spike planted. You're going to get at least one. You get two with the ult there. For one enemy He's going to get chamber right there, so nobody left. And so it would have been nice to see if we could have got this quick enough to be able to keep Odette's uh, ult in her back pocket. But in the overall grand scheme of things, you just want to make sure that you win that round, especially in the tiebreaker right there, being able to go up 4-3. Uh, you want to you want to kind of make sure that you can grab that one. Yeah, we must Can someone get this? Yeah, we did pop all three right there. Thank you. You know what to do. <laughs> Smoke's down. Launching smoke. Oh, I missed the two, yeah. Feeling sight. Tobias is able to get a good blind in there. Get the elimination, pull back some health. So good play right there to be able to uh, even things up.
get planted. even up once again. They know where the plant site is, or sorry, what site they planted on. Uh, so they're going to have to rotate over to A. It'll be interesting to see if anybody goes up top. Stim beacon here. Stim beacon down. Cost the choke is at least one there, but they're able to get two picks. Prepare for hellfire! And so LHC kind of just takes one for the team there as he gets to half and says, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and get killed even though. Uh, it's... Yeah, so he kind of just takes one for the team. Fantastic job right there. And there was a little bit of tribute, I think, there from, from our sage saying, well done, well done, good and faithful servant. And so, for, the, for those of you watching at home too, the, the reason why he does that is if he can get to that first mark, well not the first mark, sorry, there's a line right literally at the halfway mark of the bar. If you get anywhere before that, it goes right back to the beginning when somebody Safety's else tries off. to uh, start it up again with the diffuse. If you can get to that mark at the half point, halfway mark, uh, it'll start right back up there when the next person comes. Pull cat. Blinded. Yeah, and so Gab kind of uses those blinds as almost like a little bit of uh, like the recon dart that Sova has. He sends it in, and if you can hear that simple sound that happens, it means that somebody got blinded. AKA, he's there. So kind of uses a little bit of intel along with if you can get a blind, maybe get in a push and, and kill them before they even can see again. Luckily for for the opponents of Sky is uh, it's it's not as it's not as big of a blind as uh, the new Yoru uh, re rework has, as you're not going to be blinded for about 20 seconds like his is. 30 seconds left. Launching smoke! One enemy remaining. Spike down, B. Long. So Chokers get a good round victory right there to get the flawless victory. So really, really doing a good job here on the defensive side of things. Like we talked about, tough tough task ahead of you with three different uh, locations to be able to go and defend. So they've been doing well so far. I will say that it's not the easiest still on the attack side of things with those points pushed back so far away from your spawn. But uh, all in all, I think it kind of washes each other out with the location and then the amount of them. Chokers have pushed themselves into, let's see, so they've now got themselves to a point where no matter what, even if the dragons are able to grab the next three rounds, they will go into the halftime switch at least at the worst case scenario tied 6-6. Six, six. Oh, you get a, a, a very literal trade right there as they both, oh no, I thought that they just got bullets off at a time, but Chamber was able to get the finish there on Tobias and then gets Gab, so Chamber is actually Skill there down, in the ceiling with a big 2k from nice aim. Gets the spike down too, which is a big play for them. So you know that the Chokers 2v2, they can kind of hold One it. Enemy oh, enemy another big pick right there. So LHC is going to be able to put them up 2-1. Oh, and same. then a same's going to go around as we were just talking about. A chamber had been really, really good down that alleyway right there on the C site. So Chokers are starting to, uh, I think, build a lot of confidence right here. They're starting to work well together. And you're getting some you're getting some big plays from from nice aim here, which is a a very uh, crucial X factor kind of thing for the team. And I really like the tactic that he's been playing of basically just eliminating B, um, or at least if they're going right to push B, slowing that push down. Uh, but you're kind of forcing them to go to one of the other you want areas. You to play? So Let's to get play. Two thing. Oh, and that's huge for Gab to stay alive there because not only does he stay alive and you're still 5v5 but he's also got I've the intel out there to push it A so hard. Bomb grenade out. Oh. Blinded. So Odette gets the oh, bomb grenade out at least trying to get the game done. You're going to get 
are going to be able to get the spike planted. Honestly, I thought that they had already Last player oh. standing. Operator right through the head. Operator, operator. So not looking, not looking super promising here for LHC, but he does get one pick, which could put him in an area where he might be able to pull this off. I think he's very smart in knowing that he probably doesn't want to go up top with that operator in the hands of uh, Chamber. Might play it safe right here. I think he's just gonna kind of keep peeking right here, see if he can get a pick. He's gonna check a couple of angles, check a couple of corners, and now he's gonna get out of there and play this thing safe. And so LHG is gonna save and get to the next round here. So Dragon will pull Last one. Round oh man! The switch. Was trying to get a couple of shots. So once again. I think actually the same situation that we were in in the last map. It's 7 4 going into the last round before the swap. They will either go into the halftime swap up four or up two. So, really a good spot to be either or. But if I have to choose between the two, I think sentry. that I'm going to go ahead and choose going up four. It's a, it's a really tough decision there, but I'm going to have to put my right eggs here. in the basket. So another trade right there, a, a, an operator trade, actually even. Both teams get the kill with the operator. where some of the chokers are. Oh my goodness, got lucky right there. And it's gonna get the kill because of it too. So he's just got one left, it's gonna be Chamber. Deep down that C lane, we'll see what he does. As just sitting there and getting the, the picks with the operator isn't going to be enough at this point in time. He's gotta be a spike. Oh, he did. I didn't even, yeah, I was like, what in the world just happened? But Chamber teleports out right before he dies. They're able to go and get it. So they're going to go into the swap with a four round down. lead. Switching sides. Right here. Light him up. So I think one of the strategies you might see here from the chokers is kind of eliminating C as one of their options, as you saw right at the very beginning of the oh, through the smoke, my goodness. Spike down Two A. The smoke. I will say that the good thing here is that Last player standing. Oh, I, was, I was just going to say that Tobias is extremely skilled with the ghost, but a flawless victory right there to start the defense round. So I might be I might be wrong here. Maybe this is a better defensive map, but uh, like I was saying, uh, the C site might be one that's not going to be a super popular one here for the chokers as they found a lot of trouble getting uh, Chamber off of that spot. They saw a lot of shots coming down in. You can already see Chamber going and getting ready for it. Oh my goodness, there was just trades after trades after trades. You're gonna have Tobias left here on a 2v1. If he would have just waited just a second longer before he stopped his peak right there, I think he would have been golden. Oh, he's not gonna see the. Yep. 
Wasn't going to see the brimstone up there on the box. A good play there from him. So, maybe the Dragons are showing me a little bit different than what I was thinking. It looks like they're starting off their defensive side of things extremely well. So, Chokers have got to step up their game. You really want to stop the bleeding here. You don't want to see them get tied back up this early in it. Uh, you want to go and get a couple. If we can at least get, maybe push two across right here and get the 10, that would be phenomenal. Can someone get this? Thank you. First pick once again goes to the Dragons, so really starting to assert their dominance here on defense. Would have been big right there if Tobias could have grabbed that pick. Oh, but the blind's not going to go where Reyna was hoping it went and didn't, didn't blind Tobias whatsoever, so evens things up right there. You're going to get the Chokers fully on C with absolutely no Dragon there. They are going to get alerted there now, though. 30 seconds left. So it'll be interesting. I bet you you get a quick plant right here. Now you just got to hold the angles. A couple of good smokes dropped by Brimstone already. Wall goes up. Play defense well here. Now they can kind of morph into that. Field. So we'll see if they're able to make use of it. Oh, yes. That's a big time. Big time two pick one right there from LHC. Remaining. You got one enemy remaining. And it's, it's going to be that, yes, Chamber looking down the lane, and they're able to pull it off. So Chokers are able to get back into the win column, which is a big one right there to kind of uh, right the ship and get back going on momentum their side. So they're looking for four. Got to be able to grab four before, ooh, quick math. This is not good for me. Uh, before seven comes the way of the Dragons. I like that name. I wish we I wish we were like the Blue Dragons, too. Such a cool one. I'm not going to complain about the chokers, though. It is a... No, I do not want to be the blue chokers. No. We'll, we'll just stick with no color in front of ours. I like the I like the history behind the chokers. The the logging history that goes behind it, which reaches to our community. Being the, one of the roughest, toughest men on the crew. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here as there's some shots being fired there by Gabbo. That chamber that is up there on the box knows that somebody's possibly looking C. And I don't know if Gab's going to have any clue to look up there once he comes. Once this smoke goes down, it could be a very interesting play of things. And you've got Sage right there too. Oh my goodness. So the blind goes. They still have no clue he's there. Oh, did he really? Spike down, C. Oh, he did. Gab was able to know he was there, so a good play right there from him. Oh, that's going to plant. I think Tobias is going to push a little bit to just provide a little bit of cover. That's going to be stunned. There's a blind. Oh. I think he just, yeah, he just peaked just a second too early as he was still Jeez, grabbing what? some of that. The good news is, is that Reyna was in her ult Don't right there, and so you're not going to have to deal with that one for at least... Another couple of rounds. Man, of course. Who would have thought that we'd be in an absolute brawl right here on map three after the first two were just slobbering on us? So it'll be interesting to see if maybe the chokers use one or two of their ults right here. As they have the advantage in that category and, and possibly taking use in, of that before Dragons are able to get any more and see if they can go and grab this 10th round. But 
ultimately like that's the that's part of the strategy is is figuring out when to use it uh why to use it all sorts of stuff so we're gonna have quick engagement here sova's holding a good angle it's just if L lhc can know to flick quick enough he is gonna get a good smoke Smoke's down down if he can down they're gonna get a blind in sova's at least gonna be blinded for a little bit oh it would have been big for that wow spike down b that popped off like crazy so a lot of elimination very short amount of time there from the Dragons, and they're able to get another defensive win. Pull within one here of the Chokers. Yeah, yeah, that was a good point. Zero saying that once you go to, to B, they can ho basically hold A and C. Uh, and be ready and then you can even just leave one at B like they did right there with Sova but once they figure out that somebody's going B or that the chokers are going B it's a quick rotation for both sides whereas if you go A or C uh, the person who's on the other side isn't going to be able to get there as quickly but here you go now chokers have three ults and still just one for uh, the dragon so I would not be surprised to see at least one of them used right here If you get a plant, uh, if you can get that spike down and have LHC still alive when it happens, I would not be surprised to see him kind of play back and wait to hear a defuse stop it starting and, and go ahead and ult there. But once again, could be the fact that maybe he wants to keep that in his pocket for that play later. Just depending on how important do you see uh, rounds. Is it important to you to make sure that they don't tie you up here? Is it you're going to hold it in case they do tie you up and take a lead and then you want to come back and tie things back up? But all sorts of stuff. The all sorts begins. of things going to the top oh, 30 seconds left. Right Reyna's going to go into ult on hers. <laughs> oh, I was going to say there's somebody in the smoke right there. Oh, there's a new one. Last player standing. So. Lots of... Lots of damage being dealt right there. So the dragons are going to be able to even things up here, and you're going to have Chamber with his ult now. So now you're you're into a game where it's. The first to 13, so who can get four before the other team? And and once again, also being tied up at nine, we have the equation of possible overtime in our head, too. It's just like I said earlier, two hours isn't enough of Valorant. Let's push on three, right? Gab's going to know that that Sova is right there because he just uses ult. He's going to play it safe and then see if maybe he can get around the corner right here and get this pick. Probably smart not to push right away as it seemed like Sova knew that he was there on that last part of his ult. He's going to get the first pick, so that's big. I've got your trail. Chokers take that and decide to kind of get a four on one right there. Nice aim's gonna plant on site right there. I think that the Chokers also know that both of the last dragons were on site C, so they should know that that's where they're gonna be coming from. So they're gonna hold angle. It looks like somebody was going around for a pick. Gap's gonna get one, he's gonna get both of them. So a fantastic flank right there from Gap to be able to get the Chokers back up in the lead. So there's step one. Step two is to now extend a lead, uh, and then hopefully you can get to step three where you put yourself in position to be able to get to a, to a spot where you can go and win this thing. 
a big fan of the spray art right there. It kind of makes them... Oh, nice! The decorated tree, it looks fantastic. And then I always like being around uh, LHC sprays as he plays that little bit of music that I thought just always played in between rounds and then realized once I started playing that Launching it smoke. does not. So good smokes uh, set down there by LHC. He tries to get the fake to capture the ult point to see if Breach, uh, sorry, not Breach, the Chamber would take a couple of shots right there. Gap's going to walk into just a flurry of smokes and traps and all sorts of things it looks like possibly maybe a bait and switch they're going to possibly rotate here if they do rotate all the way over to a you've only got there but it looks like they're going to rotate to go through garage there's the first big pick for lhc Grab it. You're gonna get a blind right there, so they're gonna see if they can grab another one right here. Uh, able to get one, able to get two, so a good play there from Gab. You're gonna put the killjoy down here on site B and then plant the spike. So you got a 5v2, Choker's in a good spot right here. Since his blind in, knows that there's somebody over there, as you can hear that symbol hit. Got a blind on him, so he's gonna try and just kind of put get that there is a one enemy remaining kill there from so gab is able to get that one you're gonna get a four on one they know where chamber is so it's just a point of continuing to hold them back and there they are they're able to get that kill so they go up two right here and now you're in that situation once again where you got to be able to go and grab two before the other team grabs four so a nice spot to be in if they can go and grab. You, you want to get it right here. You want to get yourself as much cushion as possible going into uh, that winning round. Or match point, so to say. be left up here to nice aim to see if he can just let this thing get to completion you are going to have chamber looking right down that lane the diffuse is going it's going to be yeah he was pretty much trapped right there good play he did you the enjoy the going show? to chamber so we talked about it he just got a lot of good plays going down he's got the operator in his hand so we'll see how the chokers are able to respond to that oh man Pick, so that's a big one. There's actually two. I didn't see where the other one came from. My ult's not ready. Prepare. One enemy remaining. One enemy remaining here for the Chokers. You're going to wall up. It's up top. I think they know that it is. Big operator shot. Chamber. 
the biggest thing for the chokers right now is he has to come down and be able to defuse. So they just keep him up there. Oh my goodness. Comes around the corner with just an absolutely deadly shot. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go ahead and save so he can keep his operator because obviously he's skilled with it beyond measure. And so everybody's just going to go ahead and take off. And they both get away with it. So chokers go into match point here. Match point. Been here before. Been here twice, actually. I've gone one and one. So really, it's just down to can you close this game out right here? Really, honestly, a, a bigger play than you maybe realize of Chamber going ahead and saving right there because if he would have died, he would have lost his op and maybe didn't have enough money to be able to buy it back. And it's so easy for us to watch at home because I'm just looking there going, well, just shoot right through the wall right there. You'll hit him. <laughs> but unfortunately, hey, well, actually more fortunately for being able to keep the game safe and fair. I don't know why I said safe. More competitive and fair. Uh... We don't have wall hacks for for the players. They're not able to see where they are. So makes this thing fun. Looks like chokers are going to push B. It is a tough spot or tough site to be able to go in and push. As you've got, I can't tell who that is. I think it's their Sova just sitting right there waiting for him and Brenstone over there on the side. So they at least get the blind. They're going to push hard and see if they can get it. He's going to be able to get the Brimstone, so that's big. They're going to get the Sova also, but it's a trade. She's gonna plant, and now they've got to be able to hold B here. Gotta look out for that off that's gonna come through here. Oh my goodness. And so Gab's able to get Rain on the other side. Wow. Tobias is doing his best basketball moves right there, being able to break and get around that shot. Oh, didn't get around that one though. Gab tries to answer off with off. Actually, I think it's Marshall. Let them come to ya. One enemy remaining. I think that's gonna be. I don't think there's gonna be enough time here on the board, and they are gonna be able to pull off the win. So a fantastic comeback here by the Chokers, Attackers going down 1-0, and then being able to immediately turn it around and grab the next two rounds. The Chokers will stay undefeated, folks, and improve to 5-0, but I cannot stress enough uh, enough credit due to Hutchinson Community College. Wow, what a fantastic match all over. Pretty even right there through the top of everything. Uh, just really great matchup, and, and, and in our minds, uh, I, hope, I hope we see Hutch again. Uh, it was a fantastic match. Thank you so much for, for all the competition and all that good stuff, but uh, credit to where his credit is due. Great match there by Hutch. Great match by the Chokers. You love to see them be able to pull out the victory, and like I said, they improved to 5-0, and uh, so a great game there. We are now going to peace out of here because we got to get over to Overwatch. We got to get Tobias over to Overwatch in general. Get that rolling. Uh, so check in Hastings College. We retweeted that on our Twitter. Uh, they've got their stream going for our first game. And then we're going to be playing in the NECC stream. Check that out also. Uh, but thank you so much for joining with us and hanging out. And we will see you all next time.